Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Lilia Luciano. And here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. The Supreme Court rules former President Donald Trump can remain on the state ballots uh, despite accusations of his connections to the Capitol riots. A member of Israel's war cabinet is having high-level talks at the White House today, and Benjamin Netanyahu is against it. Some parts of Northern California have seen around seven feet of snow. High winds and highways have had to shut down, but it's not over yet. More to come. And take a look at this. Those wildfires in Texas forced the family to evacuate the home they had just moved into. We'll speak with a family member about what they are doing and what's happening on the ground right now. Also, the number of migrant crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border were up last month. We will take a look at what's driving these and the impact it could have on the campaign trail. But we begin here. The Supreme Court ruled former President Donald Trump can remain on the presidential ballot in Colorado. The justices ruled unanimously to reverse the Colorado Supreme Court's decision that that court had disqualified the former president from the 2024 election for his alleged role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. The ruling puts an end to several other states' efforts to keep Trump off the ballot. Trump attorney Jonathan Mitchell explained the former president's case during the arguments last month. The Colorado Supreme Court's decision is wrong and should be reversed for numerous independent reasons. The first reason is that President Trump is not covered by Section 3 because the president is not an officer of the United States. Putting aside the officer argument, right. what is the sum total of ways that that enforcement can happen? So the answer to that question is going to depend on what Your Honor thinks of Griffin's case. CBS News campaign reporter and attorney Katrina Kaufman and CBS chief Washington correspondent Major Garrett are both here with me in Studio 57. Great to have you both. Mm -hmm. You've had quite the morning. Um, Katrina, let's start with you. Uh, what were the factors in this case? Remind us. Well, 